Hey everybody, welcome to the Hamakua Homestead. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany and today we are pickling pineapple. I originally went to the store to get green beans because I wanted to have a whole stash of those on my shelf and see how they do in our family and how they do day to day, but they didn't have any. Well, just kidding. They had these like teeny little packages that were like a quarter of a pound for $6.99 and I wasn't gonna do that. But then I saw the pineapple, so I went and grabbed those. So today I'm not going off of any base recipe that I have found. I'm taking a little bit from here, a little bit from there, and just gonna make my own pickled recipe and we'll find out how it does. So we're gonna start off, of course, by taking off the outer layers of the pineapple and the head and the butt and get it all chopped up into pieces. Then we are gonna go ahead and add our couple of spices, which are whole cloves, and a lot of the recipes call for whole cinnamon sticks. I searched up and down through my pantry, couldn't find a single cinnamon stick, which I was really surprised about. So I'm gonna experiment with doing vanilla beans. Sugar, salt, vinegar, and your basics. So let's go ahead and get started and cut up this pineapple. Okay, so to start off, we have two whole pineapples. They're average size pineapples, and we're gonna add to it three cups of water, one and a half cups of vinegar, six cups of sugar. Now, mind you, we are doubling this recipe. Um, the recipe that I'm kind of basing this off of calls for three cups for one pineapple, so we're doing six. That's so much sugar. Oh. Do you see how much liquid is coming up? I didn't put in that much water and that much vinegar, but it's already submerged. That's very interesting. It's totally covered in liquid. Imagine that. Now, if I had a little tea bag or something, I might go ahead and put all, our, all of our spices into the little bag, but I don't. So I'm gonna put them directly into the pot with the rest of the stuff. And it's simply just the cloves, and in our case, we are trying out vanilla beans. We're doing a handful of cloves. And I'm gonna go ahead and break up, just kidding. I'm going to go ahead and cut up our vanilla bean in half. Keep in mind, this is an experiment. I've never done this before. So I'm doing three vanilla beans. And so we're just gonna go ahead and leave that to simmer for about 30 minutes while we get this mess all cleaned up and we're gonna go ahead and get our jars and our canner prepared. So now that our pineapple and all of their spices and vinegar has been simmering for about 30 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and start filling up our jars. Now, while I am doing this process, which of course I have not done before because today is yet another experiment, I am deciding to leave the cloves and the vanilla beans in with the entire mixture. And the reason that I'm doing that is because I know that it's just going to be a snack. I am not going to be dumping an entire jar into anything. So I think it'll be all right because we'll just pick out the little pineapple chunks and it'll be okay. I'm kind of wanting to poke down not only to get out the air bubbles but to kind of resituate the pineapple so that it just fits better in the jar. I think what I have left in the bottom of my pot I can kind of situate in the other jars it looks like we're gonna end up with five jars of pineapple and a lot of extra syrup, but we'll see what happens. Make sure you wipe your rims. We have plenty of sugar happening, so we wanna make sure we cut through that sugar. We're using vinegar today. 
as is most days, to cut through any sugar that might be stuck on the rims because that might interfere with the seal. Oops. And that could cause the seal not to adhere to the rim of the jar as it should be. And as you are wiping off your rim, making sure it's nice and clean, you're paying attention. You can feel it through the paper towel with your finger. If there are any nips, nicks or um, chips or anything happening, go ahead and pop your lid right on there. It's hard for me to believe right now that this is two entire pineapples. I really thought that it would have ended up being more, but oh well. Okay, so our jars are all filled up. We have five and a half-ish jars of our pineapple. This is the last one. I just put the last bits of the pineapple and it's covered in the sugar and vinegar juice. So we're just gonna go ahead and pop all six of these jars right into the canner and we'll see what happens. I have our jars covered in one inch or more, one to two inches of boiling water. The jars are hot, the water is hot. We don't wanna risk any kind of a thermal shock. All right, so we're gonna call it good for now. We're gonna wait for this to come to a complete rolling boil and then we're going to wait 15 minutes before we turn off our heat. All right so our pineapple has been boiling away for 15 minutes and now we're just going to go ahead turn off the burner let it come down all by itself and um, wait for it to come down off of its boil for a little bit before we take our jars out. We don't want to cause any kind of a sudden shock you know, taking it out into the cold air when it's been in all of this hot water. So we're just gonna let it come down kind of naturally. Okay, so we have let our jars sit for a good 10, 15 minutes or so. Now it's time to pull them. That's that for now. We're just gonna go ahead and let these sit on the countertop for the next 24 hours or so. And then I will go ahead and bring you guys back in a week or so after they have had their chance to settle and pickle and do what they do. Okay, so it has been just a little bit over a week since we pickled our pineapple and I'm ready to give it a try. It looks a little syrupy. It looks refreshing. Let's pop this guy open. Smell test. It just smells like pineapple. Hmm. Bon appetit. Hmm. The clove is not overwhelming, but it's definitely there. The texture is perfect. I love the texture. Let me try one more. Mm -mm. I don't like it. I have five more jars of it. Okay. Yeah, it's it's the cloves that I don't like. Nope. That's okay. What can we do with it? I'm not gonna waste it, obviously. Um, I could marinate something in it. I could marinate like a pork butt. I could put it in the crock pot with um, like a hind roast. I'm not gonna snack on it though. Even though the texture of the pineapple after it was water bath canned, that's right on point. I will definitely try it again in the future with different flavorings. The vanilla doesn't really come through. I'll find something to do with it. Probably a meat marinade. I'm imagining that that's what I would probably do with it. I will also offer it to my family when they get home, see if they wanna try it out. Maybe they'll like it, but. For now, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this in the fridge, probably defrost something to make tomorrow um, in the slow cooker. Oh well, don't let that stop you guys from giving it a try. If you like cloves, you like those fall flavors, by all means, go for it. I'm just not the biggest fan. Uh, that's as far as my plan goes right now. 
I hope that you guys will go ahead and also try a whole bunch of different experiments. Always, always, always don't be afraid of failure. It's okay. You're not gonna know unless you try because everybody's taste buds are different. Thank you so much for joining me today on the Hamakua Homestead. I'll see you again soon.